I mean, it's two weeks in a row having to kind of make some adjustments on the fly. Do you think Pearson did come in? Is that what kind of situation that put everybody in having to adjust to kind of a new lineup? Just, early? you know, next man down, you know, next man up. We just know uh, it is what it is. Um, we've trained other kids. You know, Cameron Hunt played some tackle today, and we'll, we'll, we'll get some other guys reached up, you know, should the prognosis for Jake not be, you know, encouraging. So I've still got to wait and hear from the doctors, see what they say, and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out from there. How's Pearson done kind of through camp? What have you kind of seen out of him? He's been outstanding. Uh, Matt's, Matt's done a hell of a job, and uh, I have all the confidence in the world in him. Can you recall having this many good players go down so early in the season? It's, uh, it's, we've had a little bit of a run of, run of a rash of them right now, Aaron, but um, no, it's, uh, it's been a while since we've, we've had anything like this happen. Do you, do you know what happened on the play with Jake Wade? I mean, he probably just got, you know, somebody probably fell in the back of the play. No, I did, I did not see the play. I mean, that's usually what happens, you know. I saw you got Brenner in there. What did you think of uh, Doug Brenner today? I think he did a good job. You know, he was late getting out, uh, pulling on our sweet play one time that I got after him about. But other than that, I thought he was pretty solid. And snapping? It's absolutely good. Okay. Yeah. Coach, if for some reason Jake can't come back in the next week or two, what does that do to your depth and where do you find, where do you find depth going well, forward? Well, I mean, that's, you know, like I said, we'll just continue to cross-train guys, you know, uh, guards playing tackles, tackles playing guards, centers playing tackles, whatever it might be. We'll continue to cross-train it and, and uh, go from there. But uh, we'll, we'll find five to put out there. Did he hurt his knee or his foot? Uh, right now the prognosis is, you know, his knee. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Coach, how much more do you like to rely on Aronis now, you know, with his leadership and his experience and some of these younger guys? Well, I always have, but you know, I, I'm very fortunate. Our, our, you know, our younger kids are, are experienced kids too. You know, that you when know, I'm talking about, I'm not just talking about Tyrell Crosby. You know, I'm talking about uh, Jake Pasarczyk. I'm talking about Cameron Hunt. Some of those kids that are seeing extensive amount of time, and they've all stepped up and performed very well. And now it's just again, it's just a situation where we just have to come together even closer and tighter. Are there any freshmen that you might pull out of their red shirt? Because of your situation with that? Well, well, we'll 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 talk about that tomorrow when we get together and meet. You know, see see what see what see what the thought is. You know, it's it's early enough the season where I wouldn't rule that out. Yeah. Um, but again, we'll just we'll have to wait and see what the doctors say about Jake. You know, and uh, the time frame there before we make any of those decisions. Coach, overall, three games in, maybe talk a little bit about the offensive line and how far it's come in those three games. You know, I, I think that uh, it's still definitely a work in progress. Um, we missed a couple things today from a pressure standpoint that forced Marcus to scramble, you know. Now, thankfully, when Marcus scrambles, usually good things happen. Um, but, you know, there are some things we have to clean up our pad level. Uh, you know, I, I don't think we ran the ball in between the tackles as well as we needed to on a consistent basis. Um, so, you know, we're, we're getting in the, in the Pac-12 play, in the conference play here, and, uh, you know, things have got to, got to ramp up. We've got to continue to improve.